Today on Toy Shiz, spiders, skunks, and green salad dressing, let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, and today we are totally checking out the brand new Mattel Masters of the Universe, He-Man Origins Wave 6, with characters like Stinkor, <laughs> the evil master of odors, of course, product has real smell, it's fun, allegedly. On the back side of the box, you get to see all the different cross cells. I'm showing this one off because it literally has the best aspects of all. I mean, look at this chick. Smell for odor attack. She's not liking that. <laughs> but the artwork is always fantastic on these boxes. From Stinkor to Webstore. There's, there's going to be a lot of ores in this. To the Green Goddess and, of course, Beast Man. The artwork is some of the coolest on recent packaging, especially in toy aisles these days but we also have the evil master of escape web store who's basically a spider guy whatever he is i don't know and then the green goddess which she looks pretty cool guardian of the power in the universe and then we have a lords of power beast man and he's the savage henchman of course <laughs> You always had to break up the words. But if you didn't go to PowerCon some years back, they had a Lords of Power box set. So, as with Merman last set, now we got the Beast Man. So, sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Masters of the Universe, Mattel's He-Man Origins Wave 6, featuring Webstore, Stinkor, the Green Goddess, and the Lords of Power Beast Man. And here's all the characters out of their packaging, and one of the many awesome aspects that I'm enjoying most about this line are the insane colors of this. Not only the character designs, but just the way they look, they feel, and the cohesiveness of each individual wave. But you do get a brand new comic book, Rockin' a Hard Place, some excellent artwork in there. He-Man fights a bunch of fakers and then loses the power sword, and guess what? He gets the power sword back. But of course, we'll start looking at the Lords of Power Beast Man, and this guy is very cool. Bright colors, yellows, reds, the blue accents all over him. But I really like the look of this beast, man. He's very cool. Not much going on in the back, unfortunately. Could use a little bit more paint in some instances. But really nice overall. You put the chest piece on him. If you can kind of go through a few on the shelf, try to get one that's a little bit better painted. Mine's kind of sloppy in some aspects on the belt only. But everything else works. Same exact articulation, head, legs, everything's going to work. And like I said, this is kind of a re-release of the Lords of Power box set. So they did Merman, and now they got Beast Man. So I'm sure eventually we will see the other ones coming soon. We'll see whenever they decide to do that. And to be honest with you, these are both Beast Man. So it's like comic book Beast Man, and then New Age kind of Beast Man, or however you want to say that. But I like them both. I actually think they look great, even as separate characters. But going up against He-Man, I think one thing this figure is missing is a weapon that would have been nice. But hey, it looks pretty cool. Next up is Stinkor. <laughs> Jason Mewes from the new Revelation cartoon, right? This Stinkor, he's a skunk man, and he comes with a blue shield. Not much to it. It's all flat plastic. But it's, it's a very cool looking figure. And if you notice that maybe the head looks familiar, we'll talk about that in just a second. But he's got his little gas mask thing, vest thing on. Got orange, blacks, reds, and whites. It's a very cool color. And he smells. Let's give him the old smell test. <laughs> Woo! Actually doesn't smell that bad. It kind of smells like Trader Joe's Spice or something like that. It's really not uh, that smelly. We'll just be honest. But he breaks apart and you can put him back together and swap out the limbs and all the other stuff that all these He-Man Origins figures do. But very cool figure. Nicely painted. I like the blacks and the whites. Cool, stinky figure. And just like Merman, the first Merman, yeah, it's just a simple repaint, different vest. That's what you're getting with the Green Goddess. Very cool looking figure. I will give you that. I actually prefer this to, let's say, when Tila puts it on. Now you can have Tila, right? And then you can have the Green Goddess. That's probably what I'm going to do for right now. But she comes with the same exact weapon, same colors, the staff, the shield. Everything is rendered nicely. There's not any paint on everything. It's just flat plastic. And I do enjoy, I like the color green that they chose. Very earthy, very mother nature-ish types of green silver on the gauntlets blue accents and she's got the new knees i haven't seen the knees in person until i got this 
They look much better. Those are much better knees. Sentinel would love those knees. Ah, mine's coming soon. We'll see what happens with that. But you can simply slip this off and you see, yeah, it's just a green colored Tila figure. But nicely done, nicely painted. Very happy to have her. And in quick comparison, yeah, you can see that it's basically just the flesh tones and different paint applications. But all the weapons and accessories are largely the same, except for these knees. And now that we got the new knees, don't ever go back to these old knees. That's all I'm going to say. And finally, with Web Store. Now, I really like this character. This is a very cool Mass of the Universe guy right here. He comes with an orange blaster weapon, because of course he does. Why not? But he's this really cool looking blue, and his face, and his teeth, and his eyes. Yeah, that just really stands out. My favorite figure of this, despite Stinkor spelling, I think that's pretty cool. But it brings back the old-fashioned nature of fun because he's got this backpack. And as you can see, you could take this off. You can actually put this on any figure if you want. So it's not just strictly for him, but for the sake of the argument, we'll just set him up. And you're going to pull on this tab and attach the hook on the other and just simply pull him up. And that is so cool. That's what I miss about old types of toys. And I'm so glad that they recreated that. I mean, you get the idea. You can have him go in every which way and you don't see a lot of toys like this anymore and you can hook him on a gray skull or you can even put the hook in his hand as a weapon if you wanted to go that route but that is so killer I absolutely love that and in a rare instance I do have the original web store so it's kind of cool to see more of a light blue on the original darker blue on this new guy there honestly isn't much difference it's just different sculpt here and there but the paint and the look and the idea of web store is largely the same. So that's really gonna wrap it up for my look at the brand new Mattel Masters of the Universe, He-Man Origins, Wave 6. What's your favorite character of the wave? Definitely gonna go with Web Store, although I really like that they're implementing a lot of old toyetic toy tropes. A smelly stink or the backpack on Web Store is meant to simulate webs or a spider climbing. I do think that some of them could use a little bit more weapons. Beastman could have used a whip or a gun or something like that. Heck, even Stinkor, maybe a gun. Something to that degree. Maybe some extra hands. I know they haven't really been doing that outside of the deluxe figures. But in either case, you're going to get four really cool looking figures. Even though they're largely in some ways kind of repaints. But they make for some really nice, cool looking characters on your shelf but i'm curious to know what you guys think about this new wave have you already grabbed it will you be grabbing comment below let me know let's talk everything masters of the universe wave six and i'm gonna leave you guys with that as always drink some great coffee eat some great food but most importantly remember as i said when you get your stink or let me know what you think that it smells like it's i swear it's like a a fall spicy kind of scent to it but it also largely smells like plastic too it's just elevated maybe that's what it is it's probably not anything close to what the original stink or smelled like where like it you know they had to like burn down the factory because it was so intense that's not true don't look that up and when you do let me know what you found i'll talk to you guys soon adios